welcome back to my youtube channel and in case you're new here hi my name is betty money and we do everything in this youtube channel so as you can read from the title today we're doing uh makeup and i'm doing this purposely is it purposely yeah purposely for the beginners if you're a beginner in doing makeup because i'm going to do a very very simple uh makeup tutorial and i'm going to use things which i'm 100 percent sure you can get anywhere from a nearby beauty cosmetics beauty shop or anywhere that is what i am going to use and the first thing uh what i prefer is you start with your eye area and for today i'll have to use eyeshadow but i'll have to use a shadow with colors which i'm 100 percent sure you can actually get in any eyeshadow palette so i really really lost uh, my brush i had this there is this set of brushes with around seven brushes uh-huh and this is always the biggest brush in the set of brushes this goes for around 250 bob and with that you can actually get all the brushes you need then the other thing you need is a beauty blender beauty blender is something you can get anywhere beauty blender goes for around 100 bob i guess but i think you can get a beauty blender with 50 bob but a hundred bob i think it's the price you can actually get a beauty blender with so uh for the starters you actually start with your eyebrows you have to shape them another thing make sure that your eyebrows are shaped uh as in hazi komingi you can actually draw your eyebrows using your eyebrows shape so you start with the lower part Just follow your eyebrows. Then another thing, on the upper part, make sure this corner is before the corner in the in the in the lower part of your eyebrows. And make sure that your pencil is well well sharpened. <laughs> The next step after that is you now fill in your brows with the pencil but if you fill in the too much your brows should look natural so from the first end make sure that your brows don't have too much eye pencil fill in just the same way i'm filling in for the brows to look natural So now after that, we now go in with the lining of your eyebrows. You cannot actually leave your brows looking the way mine look. You have obvious kunaka pencil kame toka kando, so you have to line them for them to look perfect. But see, it is so perfect, but to look good. So I'm using a uh, Iman Pro Concealer. So I use a lighter shade under my eyebrows for, for my eyeshadow. I yeah, it's eyeshadow. Yeah, for my eyeshadow. So that is the brush I'm going to use with a set I had talked about, which is going goes for around 250 bob. You can get the brush in there. So this is the bro eyebrow brush. Just follow the line under your eyebrows. Under many below below your eyebrows. Obviously, we are going to, to spread this uh, concealer on, on my eyelid. So 
spreading it downwards it's okay for me because i'm obviously going to add another concealer so as you can see there is a big difference between the first eyebrows i had done and the i after i have aligned my eye hey, hey. after i have aligned my eyebrows right now So after this, I was looking for my beauty blender, but I had another one. So after that, I'm going in with uh, the concealer on my eyelids for it to match with my eyebrows, with the my eyebrows, the concealer I have used to align my eyebrows. So that's what I'm doing now with a beauty blender. The secret of doing makeup is blending. Just make sure you blend everything to look flawless. After that, I go in with my foundation. I use MAC foundation. This is number 50. I align my eyebrows on the top part with my foundation. This is because uh, I want my face to actually match. Just the Because the upper part of the foundation, the forehead, it's like one thing. So using a different concealer on the top of your eyebrows and on a different shade of your foundation will actually look a little bit messy if you sh you are sure that you're not going to blend it well because one thing with concealers is that they dry up so fast so blending in your concealer with your foundation will actually take a lot of your effort and since you're a beginner i prefer use the same foundation you're going to use on your face on the upper part of your eyebrows to align them this will help you in blending and your face and your makeup will look flawless So after that, I'm just trying to remove the foundation, the excess foundation in the brush. Then I go in with the brush on the outer side of my eyebrows. This is to make sure that your eyebrows look natural. They have an ombre look. I know, I'm, you might know what I mean by that. Then I go in with the brush to align the hairs, the eyebrow hairs. As you can see, my brows look neat right now. The only thing is that I have not blended in everything well for the face. For the eyebrows, what I go in with is the eyeshadow. So I have these brushes. Uh, which I got as a set with they have some oops they have some other bigger brushes like these uh, this is something I, I know you can actually get they were going for around eight one thousand if I'm not wrong but you can actually order them from Jumia because I'm so sure if you're watching this you have a smartphone actually and a smartphone with a smartphone you can actually download your Jumia app so you can order them through Jumia. Through Jumia, I guess they are going for less than 400 bob right now. They are on a good, good offer. So I take advantage of the offer. So I go in with this brush and I go, I'll go in with, uh, let's say two, two, two colors. So I'll have to go with this. It's called silence. I don't know whether you can see it. And oh, it also made it's called silence. Then I have the, the black one. It's called dark clouds. So, with the silence, I'll have to go it with it this way. 
this for me helps to actually cover the concealer which was below the eyes the, not the eyes sorry the eyebrows Then I, I know you can actually see the, dif the difference. After that, you go in with the black one. It's called Dark Clouds. On the outer corner. So with that, most of the palettes have some shiny. This color, maybe. I don't know whether you can see it. It's some of shiny it's gold golden it's gold not golden it's gold or any other color which is shining but let's use this color for the inner corner of your eye so that's it uh now i go in with the mascara uh, I have a very, very simple uh, mascara struck eyeliner. This is it. Uh, this was going for around 200 bob, if I'm not wrong. It's quite a while. So I'm not going to do lashes because for a beginner, uh, the installation of lashes will be something which is hard for you. So maybe some other time I'll just have a tutorial on how to do lashes. So... I go in with the mascara so now this is how the mascara looks like the work of the mascara it makes you eyelashes pop because I, I actually can see that you can see my eyelashes but before i had done the mascara you could not actually see my eyelashes so after that if you have been watching my video you know the the sunscreen i use before i do my makeup but if you're new here hi this is the sunscreen i'm going to use it's called gania amber solea sunscreen i don't know whether i pronounce it correctly but this is the sunscreen i use there's a lot of light and it's not focusing. This is the sunscreen I use because it leaves a... Um, uh, okay, it has a white... White... I need a white word. <laughs> it may how, but that's why I like it. Because for me, it leaves a white... It's a white cast. It leaves a white... Um, cast, which leaves a mattifying effect on my face. Because my face is very, very oily. And the foundation I'm using is actually oily too. after after the sunscreen i can see i know hey i'm gonna say i can see okay you can see yes but i know you can see that my face is not as oily as it was you can either use the primer it's a legal uh face finity all day primer you can use this primer but i don't use the primer for me because i have the sunscreen on but i think it's preferred you use the primer before but for me i don't use it so i got in with the foundation the same foundation i had shown you it's mac foundation it's this is number 50 so i go in with the foundation and this brush you go 
in again with your beauty blender the the secret of makeup and a good ending is to blend and blend so you now go in with your beauty blender and always don't forget your neck or this side you see pattern is coming mature also so So as I was saying, you can actually see the difference between E, Yahapa and Yahapa, the concealer and the foundation. The reason I used the foundation on top of my eyebrows is for it to blend with the foundation I'm going to use on my face. So now, after that, you go in with your concealer concealer i said is something you can actually get from your nearest beauty shop you can you go in with your concealer under your eyes then you blend in <laughs> After that is done uh i have this buttercup this is for black opal you can get one from sasha and these buttercups go for 300 bob and i'm saying that because i'm 100 percent sure you can get this buttercup so under your eyes we are not contouring today because uh contouring i might do okay i will do another tutorial on how to contour your face but for beginners i think contouring is not that necessary so i now go in with ouch okay i now go in with my buttercup for baking we say this is for baking but a little bit of it okay i use this brush to apply then i use this fluffy is it fluffy or hot to spread it Then, after that, we're not going to do the, the blushes or anything because it's just for, for a starter. So, you can either decide to use a setting spray. Setting spray helps to hold your makeup for much longer. So, this is a legal uh, pro setting spray. This goes for around 400 bob, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. This is I, this is makeup which is below two thousand. Yeah, the makeup products I'm actually using right now, you can get them with less than two thousand bob. So this was going for four hundred bob. The pro concealer you can either use it, but today we're not using it. So yeah, uh, after that you now go in with lipstick. Everyone knows lipstick, and you actually can get lipstick anyway, but get some good quality lipstick. So I'm going in with the Huda lipstick. This is red in color. Number Ilifutika, so I don't know the number. So I go in with lipstick. And one thing with lipstick is make sure that you follow your lip lines. Isn't it lip lines? Somehow they called. So you start from below.
then on top unafanya hivi ni kama unachora cross that way then now you finish up on the upper part the other okay you can either fill in here and then finish up with this part What helps with starting with your lips lipstick with your lips down here your your lipstick will not actually spread na it okay in your lips you understand what i'm saying so yeah that is what that is the reason why you actually have to start with it right there then the cross right here your lips are not straight okay some people might have some lips adjusted but i don't think so but the cross right here is actually the shape of your upper lip how it actually looks and this avoids the lipstick from spreading everywhere so with that you can either go now in with uh powder if you actually are interest, interested in makeup the first thing you actually buy from a makeup store is ile powder na kwanga na foundation i guess there are so many types there is iman there is mark there is each nengi ni mepotea sleek yeah i know i know you have that but i guess i'll put a picture of that what i'm talking about right here so mine broke so i just decided to use the upper part of my black opal but a cap so with that you go in with that now for final touches And I guess that's it. That's it for it for today. That is the simple makeup you actually can do below 2000 bob. Siko nimesema below the amount before I started it but with the products you can actually get from your nearby beauty shop, beauty store, anything. Or other from Jumia, I have said that if you're watching this you have a smartphone and you can actually download the Jumia app and this video is not sponsored, it's Africa, but I have used Jumia and I have seen these products in Jumia. And yeah, I guess you can get them from the from Jumia and they are very affordable. So take advantage. I'm posting this before November ish. So they're having a Black Friday offer. Take advantage of the Black Friday offer and get something for you if you love makeup. So that is the end product of it. And I want you to rate this makeup uh out of 10 10 being the highest mark and one being the lowest mark so thank you very much for watching till the end and if you have not yet subscribed kindly subscribe to my youtube channel we are on the road to 1000 subscribers and like comment share if you share my videos mostly on instagram i have my instagram link on my, the descri description box tag me for me to repost so thank you very much see you in my next video bye